In this video, we're going to set up Bootstrap View with Gridsum. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll say Gridsum create, and we'll call this Gridsum Bootstrap View. There we go. So while that's going, let me just open up the docs here. Uh, and if we come up here, we want to use SAS because behind the scenes, Bootstrap View is using SAS. So that'll allow us to set variables and do all that kind of cool stuff. So I'm going to copy this here. Or oh, before I copy that, let's just CD in. There we go. CD into there and open it in code. Open up our console. And now I can copy this and just whack it straight in there. Cool. So that's going to allow us to use SAS. Uh, what else? Now we actually need to set it up. So we're going to say he import assets slash styles, and I'll show you what that looks like. And we're going to do that in our entry file, which is main.js. Okay, so this is going to import um, styles, our SAS styles, but first we need to create that folder, assets, and then we'll create a new file in there called styles.scss. There we go. Now we're going to want custom styles and we're going to want variables as well. So let's go here and say at import dot slash variables. And we're also going to want custom styles. So let's say custom. And I think that's about it. Oh, and now let's go new file variables. Whoop, what did I do there? Accidentally press enter, delete that. New file, variables.scss. And what else? Oh, it looks like I'm searching something here. There we go, got rid of it. And then custom.scss. So new file, custom.scss. Okay, so the reason we're doing that is this is going to be our entry file for our SAS. First thing we'll do is import our variables, then our custom styles. And in here is where we're going to import Bootstrap. Uh, Bootstrap for view. So let's go here and imp uh, install that by saying npm install bootstrap view. And now what we can do, check this out. If we're using Webpack, which Gridsome does use under the scenes, uh, behind the scenes, we can just copy paste that. And now we're importing bootstrap styles and the bootstrap view styles as well. Okay, we have bootstrap view. What else? Now, if we go to main.js, uh, actually, no, I don't think we need to do anything there. I think we're pretty much done. Let's go to layouts and start trying to use this. So we're going to import the modules separately. So I'm going to say here components. And we'll have, for example, a B button, bootstrap button. Let's go ahead and import that by going B button, and we're going to get that from bootstrap-view. Oh, forgot the from word. There we go. And now let's see if we can actually use this B button component by coming down here and then saying B-button and whacking in there, click me. Right, let's go grid some, develop, and see if we've got any problems here. Do, 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 do. Give that a second to load. I'd usually edit this, but this is just a quick one. All right, so something's not working. Unknown custom element B dash button. Aha, components, forgot the S there. And there we go. It's working. All right, so by the way, you'll notice that in the docs, they get you to do it slightly differently uh come down here bootstrap view so one thing they get you to do is say view use bootstrap view and the reason i don't do that is because that's going to import all of the bootstrap view components and we just want to import the ones that we need that just means that we get a uh, better tree shaking and it speeds things up so rather than importing every single bootstrap view component we're just going to do it manually uh, so that we don't end up with this massive uh, bundle size. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you, as I usually do with these videos, and I'll see you in a future video. Oh, I should also do a shameless plug.
check out Beautiful. Can't even spell my own website. Beautiful.life. If you want to check out uh, some of my other stuff, I highly recommend you look at the Vux ORM videos. They are super cool. I love this framework. I think it's amazing what Vux ORM can do for you. Um, basically, it's object relational maps uh, on the front end. So it gives you this beautiful API for querying related data on the front end. All right, that's enough talking from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.